Hi, this is the second part of how I go about wallpapering a doll's house. Um, I wanted to talk about making templates for wallpaper. If you look at the hall space here you can see it's pretty complicated as it has a lot of doors in it and one of the ways of going about wallpapering this is that you would just put a piece of wallpaper across the whole area that you're doing, wait for it to dry and when it's absolutely bone dry you just cut across, crisscross across there with a the knife and then trim it all up. I actually haven't done it that way because I think working in a, a confined space trying to fiddle about cutting those doorways out accurately is quite difficult. Plus I do like when there are door trims going on, I do like a little bit of wood exposed so that the wood of the door trim can stick to the wood and not just the paper. So I'm thinking if you do it that way you're going to have paper to the edges and your door is actually only going to be stuck on your wallpaper. So what I do is I make a paper template. The paper I use is lining paper. It's very thick, tough, but you can use anything, any paper that you've got that's big enough to do it with. And I cut out a very rough piece, rough size piece, and I get the top line lined up nicely with the top there. And then I just literally, I go around and I press everywhere with fingernails and fingers to get the shapes of all the stuff that's happening in the space that I want to fill. Take that away, cut it out roughly with a knife, bring it back, put it up against the wall again and finesse it. Basically go round it again and see where I need to trim some more away, straighten up some edges, whatever it is that, that it needs to be a perfect fit. When I've got that piece of paper as a perfect fit, I now have a paper pattern that I can take to the wallpaper, put it on the back of the wallpaper, draw around it, cut it out with a pair of scissors and really <laughs> 10 times out of 10 it will just come back again and go straight onto the wall and it's the right shape it's the right size everything's in place you've left an allowance around here if that's what you want to do you've left an allowance at the bottom here for the skirting board if that's what you want to do everything's just ready to go just to put your wallpaper straight on more usually than that you want to get a piece of wallpaper to go between um, a picture rail or maybe a dado rail further down but a picture in this case a picture rail and a piece of skirting and again you could put your trims on and just wallpaper between I personally think that's that's going to be very difficult to get nice neat edges and to get your wallpaper to join absolutely up to the trims top and bottom perfectly because even your trims will be slightly out of line so if you go away and measure your paper very very accurately you're still probably going to get little bits of gaps or overlaps or whatever just trying to get it between those two trims so I would rather put the paper on first and put the trims slightly over the top of that so what I do is I get a piece of card, figure out where my rail is going to go. I usually put the doorway in place, I stand it in place just to make sure because they will have different size trims around the doors and I like the picture rail to go right to the top of the doorway. So I put the doorway in place, figure out that's where I would like the picture rail to go. Cut a piece of card to the right height, as this one is, goes from the bottom to where the top line is going to be. And then I take that around the room, drawing a line all the way along. And when I've finished, I know that's where the top edge of my paper is going to go. I've allowed a little tiny bit extra on the measurement so that it will go under the picture rail. When I'm measuring, when I'm trying to work out what width to cut my strip, the other thing I do is, on the piece of card that I cut out, I put a piece of skirting board across the bottom, sorry, it's a one-handed job this, put a piece of skirting board across the bottom and draw across that. So the area I'm left with between that skirting board line and the top of the card is going to be the width of my paper. I tend to tidy the measurement up a bit because I don't want to be working in 16ths and 32ths and things like that. So all I do is I pick a measurement that's going to do 
nice and easy to, to measure, but will leave me with half the paper behind my skirt, roughly half the paper behind my skirting board. So this part here now I've got wood with wood, I've got a good contact when I put the skirting board in. And this part is making sure that it's all nice and tidy behind the skirting board and I'm not having to try and make edges meet. So in this case it was a six and a half inch strip as you can see here. So back to the wallpaper and cut a six and a half inch strip and you're ready to put it up.